All right, this is the device that I was waiting for for a bunch of my testing. This is the uh, Savern USB to 5 gigabit Ethernet adapter. So I've been waiting for this since I bought my uh, new router, featured in one of my other videos, to really give my uh, Plex server uh, main interface with it uh, much faster speeds. So here we are on the box. Uh, features USB A or C uh, to RJ45 5 gig Ethernet uh, LED indicator light. Mm, not much that special. It can go back to uh, XP if you're still running that. Mac OS, Linux, and it's recommended obviously for a USB 3 port. You need at least a regular 5 gig. USB 3 port, otherwise you're not going to be getting 5 gig speeds, and there's no point in buying this. Let's see. Little manual. I'll connect it. And so it's got a uh, USB-C to USB-C cable, and it's got a USB-C to USB-A. And uh, here we go. This is it, and uh, we're going to be testing it very soon. I'll uh, see you in a couple seconds where I start it up. All right, here we are about to test the Sabrent uh, dock. I've already plugged it in and installed the drivers onto my computer, and I'm unplugging this regular Ethernet cable and plugging in my cat, uh, what was it, 8? All right, so now we are plugged in, and... Ready to go, I think. All right, looks like I have that and connect and paste. I've already got it lined up. Let's see what kind of speed I get. All right, it's getting itself going. I hear my hard drive spinning up. And we're looking for more than, oh, 300 megabytes per second. And this is installed through a USB hub. Uh, one of the ones that I was testing, the uh, iQiyi, and using the, uh, the USB-A. So there we are getting 300 megabits per second. I'm going to stop the test now. And I'll see you in a second. I'm going to test it out using USB-C and see if I get any different speeds. All right, here we are in the uh, Synology interface. I just want to show the network setup. This is going to be used in two videos. There is the 10 megabit connection. And over in uh, Windows, I can see the new 5 gig adapter. Realistically, I'm not expecting uh, to get uh, well, uh, five gigabit per second, uh, to my NAS. Instead, I expect more like three, four hundred. So, uh, that's where we are. And the reason for that is when using it, my NAS has, uh, spinny disk card drives. So I'm realistically not going to get super speed out of it. So that uh, five gig and 10 gig network cards, you're really only gonna see this maximum speed benefit if you have SSDs installed in here. But uh, whether or not, so a uh, 2.5 gig adapter might be uh, better suited for most people and they cost a bit less, but I plan on keeping that five gig card for future compatibility kind of reasons. Uh, so those are some caveats and I guess extra info with uh, the testing that's going to be involved in uh, both the 10 gig in here and the uh, 5 gigabyte and I'm going to be using this in both those videos. All right I just got it plugged in with USB-C and uh, this one is directly connected into the computer so we may see a little bit of a speed difference. Let's see 315, 320 megabytes per second so there's absolutely no speed difference. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to verify this is because in the past with uh, 
uh, little SSD uh, uh, external drives, I've had uh, issues with it connecting via USB-A, but I'm glad that this is not the case here. So my final conclusions with this uh, Sabrent device is that this is a great buy to be paired with the 10 gig uh, PCI Express card for my Synology. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this and keep using it and enjoy the improved uh, transfer speeds that I now get out of my NAS. Uh, please subscribe for more content and thank you for watching. Have a great day.